Once again, welcome to another LEGO review. Today, we're reviewing the LEGO DC comic, thanks to Super LEGO Batman and Batman Man Bat Attack. So, here's a good look at the box. It's the logo. Nice picture here. All the characters Nightwing, Batman, and Man Bat, and comic book included. Alright then, so now that we're done looking at the box, let's actually look at the set, shall we? And there it is. So, let me just get in box bell again. Let's get push that up. There we go. Right, so now let me move the characters out of the way here quickly, and let's focus on Mr. Um, Batman here. Who it's a bit dark here. No, uh, actually no, it's not. Hmm. Um, can you guys see that? Yeah, you guys can see. I just move these guys out of the way. My my Creo, my Creo people move. I think that will do. Yeah, that will do. Alright, why is it look blurry? Oh, there we go. Huh. Alright, so here's the Batman. There's really no difference if you saw... Which which reveal was that? Um, Actually, no. There's really no um, difference with this Batman in terms of helmet-wise. Um, Actually, um, yeah, let me go quick get, quickly go get that shot. Yeah, I'll be right back. Right back. Yeah, I, I promise. I'll keep... I'll stop. I won't let this happen again. that guys yeah I should really stop doing that because I was thinking if I if I did compare this figure this found to another Batman figure already but I didn't so here's actually see here's like these two the two same little Batman figures the only difference they have is well it's blurry for one part make it less blurry why won't why is it getting really blurry god this is terrible come on get unless I'm I'm doing this because I because like because I got sometimes just when you wave your hand from the camera it'll make it less blurry. I think it works. There we go. So you can see here um what his mask looks like and his mask looks like. His has like a, like a slanted part on the ears. His is just like kind of flat there. So that's really their like um their only difference. Now she kind of looks like a cool shot. And I wish I could make it my thumbnail. All right, now of course actually wait let me. Got the helmet, of course. Show you the head, and of course, fr freaking blurry. There, come on, and there's the front, and move the cape out of the way, and that's it. All right, now that we're done looking at, at Batman, let's look at some the other figures we got. So let me zoom out. Let's look at uh, the the new version of this figure, Nightwing. Alright, so I do not have the original Nightwing to show you guys, but yes, this is the new version of Nightwing based around the new 52 design, and it does look actually really cool though, it, I really like its design, it's a really nice looking figure, I have to admit, let me get a zoom in, I don't know why his eyes are red though, because in the comics he has like, the, he has like white eyes on the mask, for, but for some reason he has like red eyes, maybe, maybe he has like pink eye or something, alright, so, turn around, and there you go. I do not have the original Nightwing. I do not have the original Nightwing figure to show you guys. That's, that's what it looks like. Just smiling, smirking. Like that. Get the hair on. Twist it around. But yeah. Fix it up. And I do have that Lego Batman book here with me. That does show previous Lego Batman sets. So let me quickly actually bring up the page that would have Nightwing on it. Um, so they give you a comparison, because I feel like I, I, will, I really should give you guys a comparison on Nightwing. Where's, well, jeez, I'm about to drop it. Can I find the page? Oh, there we go. So, well, I'm, I'm like not hitting stuff on my elbow. Here's what the original Nightwing looked like, and compared with him to, um, his now version, 
And you see, this Nightwing was like, with the blue and black version. I still wish I had that version, but this one's still cool, too. It's a blue and black version. The, uh, the, the symbols are a bit different. This one's a bit more upper. Her on it's like it's like higher up on his on his pecs and this one has it like more lower down on him so yeah and this one has like blue arms this one did not or like red arms in the case this one has has, has poles and this one doesn't different mask and face designs and different hair pieces as you can see are crazy a bit so yeah so let me put the book away because you don't want you want to focus on the Lego set, not pictures of Lego. Hmm. All right, so yeah. So I wish he came with like some of those like poles like that, and then when he came with, I'm surprised he didn't. All right. Now for the brand new Lego figure that we've never seen is the Man Bat figure. Uh -huh. Now we've never seen a Man Bat figure actually in Lego. We saw him in all the Lego games, and now we're like we actually decided to make one. So yes, and. If you, if any of you have those, um, what were those Lego, what was, what were that, what was that, what was that Lego series called? The Lego Monster Hunters? I think I heard it called, it was, it was, that was like, uh, the book, my book's moving down. What was it, what was those Lego sets called with, like, the vampires and ghosts and stuff? I don't, I'm not sure. That series had, like, vampires, ghosts, werewolves and stuff, I'm not sure what that, what that was. But that, they had these kind of bats in it, and they basically just took that bat and redesigned them a bit. So, I think only on the ears and on the chest. So just look at the head. He looks menacing. Chest, he's got a hairy chest there. He's got blue legs. And turn around. Hair there. And of course he does have um scared face also. Now, this piece right here, his head piece, is that came actually in a, in a separate baggie, actually. So yeah, I guess his own separate piece. Just like um two faces hair and one Lego set. Yeah, of course, he also comes with dynamites. And of course, he also comes with, like, unique arms, so he can, like, move them around. He can't really fully move them around because of the ears, like that. But, yeah. So, he can't really, like, um... So, he looks like that, in a way, so... Uh, and also, there the wings... I don't think these arms are meant to come off this kind of a Lego figure, because... Let me show you, actually. Let me take off his legs, if I'm able to. Yeah. And, I don't know, he's dead, I took off his legs, so I'm not sure if you're able to see this. Um, let me try to see if you're able... No, you're not going to be able to see that. But, yeah, it's way too dark in there. Oh, yeah, well, I have a flashlight here. Let me try and try this. Show you what... Um, can you guys see that? Yeah, okay, you can see the, the things that we're going to plug in, and you hear that phone ringing, of course. Um, so yeah, um, that's where the arms are pegging in, but it's really like, it's not, it's like impossible to try and like, um, peg in, um, hit, to try and take off his arms. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even try, I try, tried actually a bit, and then I just briefly stopped, cut, yeah, so yeah. But, and, so yeah, now let's get rid of the man bat figure, and look at some vehicles. First, let's look at the smallest vehicle out of them, Nightwing's vehicle. So let me move the back copter to the side. Yeah, Nightwing has like a cool jetpack here. I really like the sticker here, it's really nice. I really like the design. It has grappling hooks here, boosters, and other stuff. And the way Nightwing sits on it uh, is, um, he would sit on it like this, and just, like, just fly away and crash landing. But yeah, I so much he had the poles of him, so that would make him look cool. You technically could have given him red poles. If you have like any kind of like lightsabers from Star Wars sets, I found like a, a Darth Maul lightsaber on the ground one time, and I don't know what that is now, so I can't really do that. So now let's move that out of the way and get to the main part of the set, our backcopter, the new design. Much as the, the old backcopter look tool, this just looks really nice. I really like it. It really looks nice and out. So let me give you a view of it. Side view. Oops, turn it. Back view. All you can see is that. Side view again. And front view. Nice little Batman sticker there. Maybe we can stop it. Let me open the hood. Here, as you can see, it's the like, control panel. Let me get Batman to sit in here. So sit in there. That's really the only thing that's inside his cockpit. Just that, like, this little um, piece here for him to 
lay back on and so yeah that's all he can really do and stuff there, there we go see so, yes yeah, so, um now he's he's sitting in there really comfortable and shut all the way I'm like for some reason this one is it's hard to push oh yeah wait I forgot he can't he can't just, like sit fully up so I forgot um let me fix this quickly I forgot to say this actually, because many of Batman's Batman when he's in like inside of kind of a vehicle, he has to like be laying back in it. Uh, so the reason for that is because um the hood won't won't close all the way. There we go. So yeah, that's in many Lego sets where he can't where he has to lay back because of his cow. Like in like both like both his Batmobile sets, he can't um the Batwing he can't. So he can't sit like sit it fully up and so yeah. So here's his um spinning blades, and of course they can move up like this. Like both of them can, they can get them to stop moving. But yeah, well, one thing is on. Uh, I don't get why they have these here. Why do they have like only like why don't, why aren't there like four fins here? I don't get that. Makes no sense. I'm not sure. Of course, got like one light here, and of course also a uh, bat fin there. And you got like a part you can spin here. And it's attempt to spin. And yeah. Got these rotating things here. Like um, what, are, what would we call them? Gas things? I don't know. A light system here. So it's like, it's like spotlight. Um, these missile things can move. And get like flip fire, flick fire action. If I can make it. If I get it. Nope. Okay. Well, actually I think we can uh I think I think I can rest the camera down for this one, can't can I? Yeah, I can. So yeah. Flick fire action. And let's hope this works. And here we go. There we go. I almost knocked out Batman. Let's actually try and hit try and hit someone. So I'll put Man Bat here. And let me see if I can knock him him down. Let's let's actually try this, shall we? See if we can actually attempt to knock someone down, shall we? And go. Oh, I moved him. And the camera, but yeah, you can have the flick fireworks. That's in, that's in like many Lego sets. Now, one thing that's also in this set is actually at the bottom of here. And see here, he has like a little hook, it's like waving down, like a random wire there. So what happens here is, um, uh, let me do. Uh, how am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to do this? Like, um, oh, I know how I can sort of do this. Like, sort of display this part here. Um, oh yeah, it's also on wheels, so I'll do that in a sec, so yeah. Well, this part is, if you press this, if you, um, let me get it down here a bit. So yeah, this look, and you, if you can roll, like, do this, it will start to come down. And if you can see it, you can see it moving, can you? Yeah, you can. Yeah, that's, that's what I did, it's a cool feature there. So yeah. And like I said, and like I just briefly showed you, and of course it also, oh jeez, um, of course also it um, it rolls because it's on wheel. It actually rolls really nicely for the small wheels you got, like three of them. They're not that bad actually for rolling. But yeah, but there you go, guys. That will conclude another Lego review. Um, Nightwing does not stand that well in this. Oh yeah, these things can move. I forgot to show you that. You can adjust these any way you want. But yeah. And I just gotta like have him like laying back on my mouse. On my mouse pad. And yeah, oh jeez. <laughs> like my, uh, my the, that flashlight I used just like m started rolling off the table and just scared me. And like I thought I was gonna fall off and break. I have to have this guy like lean back on my mouse. There we go, guys. I'll conclude this another Lego review. Same for more Lego Man reviews and other Lego Man reviews coming your way. And I'll catch you guys later.